Dahlia and I'm back again with another room tour video. Um, now we're in Harnwell, which is one of the high rises for sophomores at UPenn's campus. Come on in. All right, so first up over here are my two roommates. Hi, I'm Alice. I'm Alicia. And then behind the camera, we have the lovely Alejandra. <laughs> so um, when you first come into the dorm rooms, you'll find the living space over here. Um, we reformatted the way that the um, furniture looks like so that like the table is over here and it like provides a nice separation like with this being the kitchen space and this being the living room space. Um, Alice did a lot of like the inspo so um, we found like this light over here and they put it up and it looks really vibey I would say it definitely makes the room feel um, super cool at night and then we also like added lights over here and then if we also above Alejandra and Alicia you'll see like we have these different posters um, and then we have their pinata this is horse <laughs> He's been with us since freshman year, first day. So yes, all hundred and I were roommates, and then um, Alicia and Natalia were roommates. So we like decided to go together. Yeah. Yeah, and we actually all met each other in Hill. So then on top of that, over here, you'll see we have a kitchen. It's kind of small, but I would say it's done the job. Um, here we have all Alice's um, coffee machine, which she uses like almost every it's day. The best. I got it as a Christmas present, but I would invest in one if you didn't. Yes. And what do you guys think are like the best things to like have in a dorm room? Like what appliances were like the best to have? A toaster. Toaster. Also, Alejandra swears by her air fryer. Yeah. And I feel like that's a safe bet to have. Like microwave does not cut it. No. Yeah. Um, Alejandra swears by her air fryer. No. That's true. It's good. Yeah. So you can find we have the toaster, the kettle. We got matching mugs with our last names, <laughs> letters, because all, almost all our names start with A. Um, and then it just like makes it look really put together. And then in here, we got our air fryer, all hundreds air fryer, which is really useful. And then we also got like different things to help like organize our utensils and all our cooking supplies. And then we also have like a full on refrigerator, which is really nice. Now, down this hallway, you will find all our bedrooms. First off, we're going to Alicia's. Um, this is my room. I didn't move any of the furniture or anything, so like the drawers are in my closet. And then like I brought this shoe rack, but everything else, it's pretty much how the room came. So there's that lamp, it comes with the room, the desk is here. Oh, the only thing I moved is I moved like the cabinets that came under the desk to the side, but yeah that's my room i would say one thing that's like essential is to get like hooks to hang stuff at least for me like i have things hanging all over so yeah yeah and you have a ton of pen pride over here yes because we love pens yes. <laughs> and now we're going down this hallway um we got a rug as you can see it just kind of makes the feel place feel a little bit more homey and then more of our paintings okay now here's my room which is the other single bedroom um <laughs> Pretty much very similar to my freshman dorm room, if you've seen that. I got a carpet, which I think is really essential because the floors get kind of cold since they're tile. Um, also adding nice collages of like whatever makes you happy. Um, over here I got a cart, which I think is, has been like really helpful both years because I can just include like all of my toiletries or whatever I need. And then below my bed I have like different like space like things to like hold all my stuff. Um, which was always very helpful. Um, and then pretty much all the stuff I got for decorations was from Amazon. Shout out Amazon, really helpful. Um, and then I would also say well, something that I liked adding was I got a lot of like different um, like green, like fake green um, plants. And so that just makes it feel a little bit more lively. Um, and then over here, you'll see we have a closet space. Honestly, tons of space, I would say. Um, I had like all this space for hanging stuff, tons of like different cubicles, um, and I would say there's not like an issue, and then there's also closet space in like throughout the hallway, so I don't think that was ever a problem. Also, you'll notice I formatted my room a little bit different than Alicia. Um, these drawers, I didn't, they came inside the closet and I put them out here, and that really allowed for like a ton of space to hang my stuff right here. So don't go with the default. If you don't like it, feel free to move your stuff around. 
All right, now we're moving on to the last bedroom. Oh, first off, actually, this is where we have like our um, toiletries. So we have like our little rags, a mirror here. Um, we also got these like little cute lights that light up at night. And then we put like our towel thing. And like, again, like Alicia said, like nice to have those hooks. Um, and then our last bedroom is Alejandro and Alice. Welcome. We got the room with a massive window, so even though we have to share this one double in this like quad, it's like a four squad, three rooms, um, we got the big window. So I would say it's worth it. We're on the 21st floor, so we get really good views. And I don't know, I would say that's the highlight of the room for sure. The beds are definitely close, but it hasn't been bad. I love rooming with Ali, so it's that's fun. It's definitely more spacious than like a regular double that you like think of. Yeah, I would also say since the beds are so high, and I think they were both lofted to this point, there's just so much storage underneath. So, you know, like Ali has like big suitcases. We keep all our shoes. We didn't get a rack storage. Of um, mm -hmm. And there's also Luggage. massive storage closets in the hall. So we've really never had an issue with space. And there's the shelving above. Um, and then we get the two stacked drawers in the closet as well. So, I mean, we didn't put any sort of curtain over the closet. That would be an option because um, ours don't have doors. But I think that it's fine. It's not too bad and it kind of works out well. And then we just have our desks over here. It's kind of nice to have them by the window. Um, I really like having a huge mirror on my desk. I think it like opens up the space and it's kind of fun. Um, although I guess it does kind of take up room and I could have lifted up the shelves, but I decided not to. So yeah, overall, I think I really enjoyed having this room, especially compared to Hill because it was just so tight. And also our window was like a tiny vertical window and this window is just amazing. I will say though, like, it's great views and it's nice when like the weather is good, but when it's transitioning to hot, like, I mean, or to cold, it's freezing. So just mm -hmm. heads up. And the windows do open. There's a really small access point where you can open it just a little crack. So if you needed some fresh air, you can definitely do that. Um, but we haven't really done that too much. And so, yeah, I mean, definitely part of the cold factor is being on the 21st floor. Um, I kind of wish we had a carpet in here. I think that that was like a good recommendation from Natalia for sure yeah oh and then also something to note is like it comes with a mirror right here and then inside is the bathroom which is just like a tiny little bathroom but it works so like i mentioned like there's so many closets that line and um we have like three massive ones so we have like coats down there and then we decided to just kind of keep like cleaning supplies in here and anything extra um right now we have like boxes for moving out and we just keep like a bunch of extra um bags that we get for trash and whatever so yeah, it's been pretty nice to have that storage. All right, so that's our dorm room. I hope you enjoyed and this gave you a little bit more inspiration and insight into what it's like to live in one of the dorms here at Penn. Um, overall, I would say I've loved, like we all have loved our experience here at Harnwell. They've had so many like scheduled events. One thing that we loved was Probosco dinners, um, which is every Tuesday they like bring in catered food um, to enjoy. And like, it's a great way to try out different restaurants in Philly. Um, what do you guys think? Yeah, definitely the highlight for me was Probosco as well, but I just love the Harnwell community. So if you had to choose between any of the high rises, I'd say go Harnwell. I agree. I think Harnwell is super nice. The people are really nice. And we've had like, um, you know, if there's any sort of maintenance issues, they're fairly quick about it. So that's been good. And then also just the events in general, like they have a lot of events. So that's good. And if you are like a Starbucks fanatic, we're the closest to our campus Starbucks. So that's really convenient when it's like rainy or something and you want to like find a quick study space. It's really close. We also have a package room, so we don't have to go anywhere. Like it's in our building. So that's also nice. That's true. And also on the even floors, you'll find the laundry. We're on the 21st floor, but I don't think it's like an issue to like go up the stairs. It hasn't been a problem, but if that's something that cares, like matters to you, then like choose an even floor. And then the last thing I'll say is that some rooms have bigger living rooms than ours. So you really just have to get lucky or if you want to do your research, you can. But I would say that this space, like even though it's small, it's like it's fit for us and it's worked out. So thank you guys for watching.